Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimos Tech, and today we are checking the Lenovo Smart Alarm Clock. Let's go ahead and unbox the Lenovo Smart Alarm Clock. Now it does say just Smart Clock, but I call it Smart Alarm Clock, because this is pretty much the most intended feature of that thing. So let's grab my uh, knife here. Oh. Oh crap, oh, well, okay, it's a little bit broken, it seems, um, yeah, that, that won't do, okay, let's move that aside, where's the other screw, okay, let's, okay, no panic, no panic, uh, we have something else, we have this one, so, if the old knife gone, we have this one. Now, this one belongs to my friend and it's not mine, so I have to be gentle with that unboxing. And it's, this knife is pretty good actually. So, let's do this. So, basically, that's sort of a smart display, but that particular smart display is not a regular display that Google or Lenovo makes. Lenovo actually makes pretty good smart displays as well. That one particularly is just for your clock, it's supposed to sit on your bedroom, you cannot play videos, you can't even actually play photos as far as I understood, which is kind of sad, I mean it could be a great photo frame, I know it's small, but anyways, let's go ahead and unbox it, I think, oh we have another one here, going gentle since it's my friends, okay, there are magnets here. Okay, oh wow, it's really small, I like Okay, why it's wrapped in that ugly plastic when you have such a beautiful design here? So let's unwrap that one, we'll say that, we'll try to keep that for my friend. Um, he pretty much gave it for me just for the unboxing and small review. It looks amazing, it feels amazing. This thing here feels like fabric. Now probably it is plastic underneath. Actually I think here specifically is actually the speaker. Those are the volume buttons. They're tacky, I mean you can feel the clicks, that's good. The screen as you can see is very small. You have some light sensors probably here or microphones, I'm not really sure which ones they are. And you have here some rubber so it won't slip. Let's move a little bit of the box so we can put it here. And let's see what else we have here. Should have a big charger from what I understood. Let's see. Yeah, that's a big charger. Now, the charger isn't a USB one, sadly. So that's kind of bummer, but that's kind of okay considering that here on the back, if you look closely, we actually have. Uh, first of all, we have a microphone disable physical button, if you want, and we also have a USB jack in order to charge your devices. From what I understood, it's just for charging, nothing else. So, let's try to plug it and see how it goes. There's no start button or something. Oh, here we go. Took some time. So we did say Lenovo, oh, the Google regular under transition. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. And let me launch the Home app. This is the Home app. And we do need to add a new device. So we need to go here, I guess. Set up device. New device in your home. Home. Here it is, it actually already found it, hit next, now it should bring us some, yeah here it is, the confirmation code, so you pretty much will be sure that you're connecting to the correct Lenovo smart clock in case there are multiple smart clocks around you, kind of not possible I'd say, but yeah, I mean at least in our country it's really a hassle to actually find this thing in stores or anything, my friend bought it on Amazon and even then it took a pretty long time to actually ship to him. So yes, 
help improve. No, thank you, not right now. Anyways, it's going back to my friend later. And we'll choose bedroom here next. We'll choose my Wi-Fi for now because I already disabled the Mac filtering address. Guys, this time I actually disabled the Mac filtering before the video. We hit OK. And now it's connecting. Okay, before you begin, Google Partners and blah blah blah, next. Oh, it's updating in the meanwhile. It's already connected to the internet, so it's already updating. That's good. And now it's called actually Bedroom Clock, which is kind of cool. Activate voice match on this device. Yes. I agree. It's kind of cool that it's still updating, though it's actually setting up. Okay. I agree. Oh, we have multiple voices. I'm not really sure where it's trying to play because my phone is actually on silent. Let's keep it up on the first voice for now. Link music services. Well, I think it won't be... Oh, you can actually link the Google Play Music. Oh, it requires a subscription. So yeah, as you can see, I cannot do pretty much anything here. I don't really like to use Spotify. I'll skip that for now. You have a Google Play Music and I do know that it does support YouTube, but for some reason, though YouTube Music was already enabled in our country, it's not updated here for some reason, so we'll just guess right now skip for that. Okay, we skip. All done. Continue. Downloading updates. So now, only now the phone actually shows that it does download updates. As you can see, it's powering off now. And right now it's actually updating. So, the start here actually takes some time, from what I see. And almost done, so we are almost finished and we can press here, continue. Just start, yeah, yeah, you can pretty much already use it. Right now, it shows the current clock actually. Press and hold to customize, okay, let's hold it. As you can see, it's a pretty cool clock, I kind of like it. Let's choose something, oh, let's choose something different. I like that one. Let's choose that one. So you have no alarm set. We'll do it in a moment probably. And okay, it does show the current weather. I'm not really sure if it shows the correct weather. I mean, where I am. Yep. It does show the current place. And you could already hear. Um, Let's try to... The volume here should be amazing. Pretty much exactly all as on the Google Home Mini that I have there. So we have weather. Not really sure how to go home or something. I don't know. Oh, we have settings here. So we have uh, Wi-Fi settings. We have a clock face, display settings. Uh, we have... Oh, that's cool. You have a dim option and so you can see that I have here pretty much my calendar that's kind of cool and we can go back to the clock that's the clock and we have an alarm let's set an alarm for a moment and let's set it for something current I forget what's the time now let's look at the 1 and 10 let's put it on 1 and 15 or something. No, you know what? 1 12 p.m. set. And if you want to repeat, alarm tone. Now let's look here. You have multiple alarm tones, but you don't have any option to actually make it sound with your song from, I don't know, YouTube or whatever. Oh, well. and trust me guys it's really loud I wouldn't be able to continue to sleep with that it will probably actually maybe even wake up your neighbors so we have a sunrise alarm which means that about half an hour before the alarm actually the screen will go brighter now if you're in a dark room you might see it and it might awake you and in 30 seconds well 10 seconds pretty much we'll already see the alarm Sadly, I didn't even finish to set it up, but it's good enough, right? <laughs> Let's hear it for a moment. Why? 
Now, what I want to show you that you can actually hit it, sort of, and it will snooze. And that's kind of cool. So, if you pretty much tap on the head of it, well, sort of, you know, give it a punch a little bit, it will snooze the alarm, as you can see. And I think we can disable it. Yeah, alarm stop. So, that's kind of cool. And again, sadly, we don't have much means here, but let's see, good morning routines. Oh, you can actually do good morning routines, that's cool. The other function that we can do, we can use the Google Assistant. So let's try that. Hey Google, who is the President of the United States? Hey Google, repeat that. Sure, the President of the United States of America is Donald Trump. Well, it responds really well. I have in the room now lights that are controlled with a Google Assistant. And you won't be able to see the lights, but we can actually turn them off since they are on right now. So let's try that. Hey Google, turn off the lights. And the lights are off. Sadly, oh, we can. Okay, we can turn them on again. They're on again. And I think that's the brightness. Yeah, that's the brightness. So that's kind of cool. And I think if you swipe, yeah, if you swipe from here, you'll get back to your home screen. Now, I think if we will be able somehow to block the light, yeah, it will dim. Oh, wow, it's very dim. Now, you cannot see the clock at all right now, but it's actually there. It's barely seenable. So at night, it goes very dim, yet it will be still visible. That's awesome. I really like that. Now the only sad thing that I can think about about this clock is actually that it's on wire. You cannot take it with you with battery or something. And it's not a USB plug, so you can't even, I don't know, use a power bank or something to power it up. That's kind of bummer, but again it looks pretty cool. Sadly it can be a photo frame, so that's kind of sad. Let's just go ahead a little bit and see what else we have here in the clocks. Oh, you can do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I was wrong. You can actually do that. You have a photo frame here. It can show you the current temperature. Home screen ticker. I'm not really sure what's that. Select album. Give me a second. You need to go back to down and set. And now, as you can see, we have a small photo frame. Not really sure how often will it change the picture, but it looks kind of nice. It's not the best resolution. I mean, again, it's a small screen actually, but it's cool. And it is usable. I mean, we have here... Oh, we can play music. Bedroom lights. What is that? Not really sure. What is that? Do not disturb, that's cool. Oh, we have, we can control the brightness, that's cool. Sadly, I don't see... Oh, we have an up timer, by the way. Let's look at that. So, if you want to take a small nap... Okay, a 20 minute timer called nap timer. Starting now. Okay, so it will just give you 20 minutes. Honestly, I don't really like it. I want it to be half an hour or something like that. Why not? But that's cool that we have it. Let's go to play music. It looks like you haven't chosen a default music provider. You can do that in the Google Home app, then try asking again. Um, that's quite sad. Oh, it did actually change the photo already. So that's cool. So, we have a small photo frame, an alarm clock, a good one. It can play music. It's a smart speaker. It's kind of cool device and from what I understood, it's not too expensive. I mean, for an alarm clock, it's actually is expensive obviously, but it's a smart alarm clock that does include a home speaker, a smart home speaker, and that's kind of cool, it looks really nice, it's small, I mean, probably if you'd give me the choice between this one and the Google Home Mini, that's a good alternative, I think, I mean, it can do pretty much everything the Google Home Mini can do, 
as you can see the photo frame is still changing that's kind of cool really awesome let's put it here on that side so it will get much brighter for a moment since we have the light um no it doesn't really get brighter let me see how bright can it go because i wonder oh that's actually the brightest Honestly, it's not that bright, but for home usage, obviously it's good. So, I'd say that's a pretty good smart alarm clock. I like it. Again, if I'd have a choice between this and Google Home Mini, probably I would choose this one. I actually kind of like it. But for now, I'll stick with my Google Home Mini. I mean, it's not a good enough reason to actually switch between them, besides that one isn't mine. So... I'm going to pack it back to its original box and give it back to my friend and he will be able to enjoy it. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.